Hey, welcome back with a new video. Are you a beginner to blocks roots and you're looking for the best guide out there? Well, you're on the right video. Keep watching until the end to learn all the tips and tricks I'm gonna be giving you in this video. Also, be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video to help support me. Let's begin. As you can see, there are quite lots of codes. Also, my friend joined the server because he's gonna be spinning a fruit for me. Hopefully, I get something like flame or light. I really hope so. We're gonna try not spending our actual money because I actually wanna teach you how to grind the game. I don't wanna be a pay to win. So the first thing you do is using a code. Redeem. Now I have two times XP. Okay, so we're gonna go spin our fruit at jungle first. Okay, we're at jungle. So we're gonna go spin our fruit for me. I hope I get a good fruit. Honestly, I don't want to begin with a bad fruit. This feels so weird, bro. I literally have barely any stamina. Okay, let's go. Spin our fruit for me, sir. Give me a good fruit. Hopefully, I get something good. I really hope it doesn't get something like bomb. Oh my god, yes. A logia fruit. This is actually not bad. You know, I wanted flame or something like that, but I got ice, which is really not bad. So as a beginner player, I got ice fruit. I'm gonna eat it right away. Yes, sir. An alt with ice fruit. It's time to farm. Okay, my dear friend first thing we do is take the quest please do not start playing the game and beating bandits before you take a quest always take a quest you need to kill five npcs so let's gather them together i should become logi protected very fast i don't know how much damage my eyes will do but let's try Oh, actually, it's not bad. Not gonna lie, that did actually some very good damage. Boom, boom, hit, hit, hit. I want to get the mastery for my ice fruit, so I'm gonna use my ice fruit to finish them. Wow, what the hell? Seven levels that quickly? The next island we'll have to be going to will be the jungle island, and I really hate it. When I first began playing box fruits, I raged at the jungle island. The monkey boss kept killing me. This was really annoying. Not gonna lie. It looks like I'm a logia now. I take no more damage. Wow, this is literally awesome. <laughs> Wow, okay, let's go. Also, let's put all my stats. I think I'll put maybe five in defense. I don't need my defense too much if I got Logia. I'll put a lot in my fruit because I actually love doing lots of damage. I love tanking my damage. But I also want some stamina. So we'll do one, two, five is enough. One, two, three. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. Honestly, most of the times, even if I can go to the next island, I don't go to the next island until I stop getting levels. And since I am still getting levels, sometimes I stay at the island. So when I hit level 15, let's go to the jungle. It's kind of fun to farm, not gonna lie. And ice is really, really good. Okay, now we can go to the next island. Also, always get the dinghy for free. I just wasted my money buying a big boat by accident. Do not waste your money and always take the chest you find around. Oh my god, it's so slow. Okay, I'm arrived. I had time to chug a whole entire water bottle and I'm finally here. Honestly, you don't need to set your home point, but I'll still suggest you to do that. Because now if I die at this island, I'm just gonna spawn again at the same place. Okay, let's take the quest. The first quest is the monkeys, I think. No, not even monkeys. I skipped the monkeys. Gorillas. Okay, let's do gorillas. Let's do the gorillas. It's gonna be so much easier because the monkeys are too far away from each other. I don't wanna be running like a monkey to catch them. Them. So let's go check our friends the gorillas. Also, I can walk on water, so that's pretty cool. I prefer light, so if I can get light, I'll get rid of ice and I'll get light, honestly. It looks like there's only three of them, or four. Okay, four, not that bad. Also, I wish I was a rabbit right now. I might get Robux, but I want to keep this pay to win free. You know, we're not trying to cheat. Oh god, oh, they're strong, they're tough. Okay. Also, I'll be able to spin my own fruit when I'm level 50. I hope I get something other than ice. It's not ice isn't bad. It's not my favorite fruit. Also, I can easily like just jump here and they won't be able to catch me. This is going to be so easy. If you find that beating NPCs is too hard, but for me, it's very easy. I can just do that. And even if I take damage, I won't die. For me, that's very easy. Not going to lie. Quest completed. Okay, wow, three levels. Okay, now we can kill this boss here, the Gorilla King. Let's do this. I remember when I first began Blocks Fruit and I was a beginner, this dude literally made me rage. Also, don't forget to thank your stats. I want to thank my fruit again because I like doing lots and lots of damage. But don't forget to add some stamina too and some defense. One here, one here, one here. Try to keep it balanced. 45 for fruits. Not bad, okay? However, there's one mistake that all beginner players do and I hate when you guys do that. Please, and your stats, do not be a hybrid. Either choose if you want to be a fruit user, a gun user, a sword user. If you don't have a sword, if you don't have a gun, if you don't have a fruit, do not waste your stats. I have a fruit, so I began tanking my fruit. But if I didn't have a fruit, I would be tanking my melee to get a better melee later on. If you don't have a fruit, tank your melee stats and your defense. Don't do this hybrid thing, you're gonna mess up your stats. Okay, let's see how easy this guy's going to be to kill. Oh my god, what was the sping like? Okay, so maybe I can just M1 spam him. I tanked my fruit a lot, so it really shouldn't be easy to kill. It oh god, he still does some decent damage. Oh god, yeah, he does some- Oh, ooh. ooh. He still does some decent damage, but I tanked my fruit a lot, so that was so easy for me. And I also got some bounty. One, two, three, four, five. Five levels this easily. Now I'm gonna do this NPCs again and get to level 30 before going to the next island. The pirate island. If you're a Logia, you're gonna be immune to most NPCs after a few levels. Okay, let's finish them really quickly. Oh, also, don't forget to take the chest when you can find one. Because even if it doesn't look like a lot, when you're first a beginner player, you need to take all the chests you find. My biggest tip for you is keep fighting the bosses until you don't get XP from them anymore. Because normally bosses give so much more XP than normal NPCs. I'm still 
getting one, two, three levels from one boss. So why would I go to the next island? I'll get as many levels as I can from this boss and then I'll go to the pirate island. Okay, I'll show you where the pirate island is. I might buy the game pass for fast boat, honestly. It doesn't really count as pay to win, it's just to go faster because oh my god, this is literally such a pain. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, finally. Okay, so you go from Jungle Island straight behind Middle Town. You're gonna see like a flag. Most of you don't play on maximum graphic. It's gonna be the first island here. That's called the Pirate Island. You're gonna keep going straight. You can give yourself any indicator you want. You keep going straight and that's the Pirate Island. Okay, guys, we're now at Pirate Island. Also, there's a black chest there. Ignore this. You're not probably gonna see this. It's just because this is for an event. And NPCs will start attacking you. They're very strong. It's only a temporary event, so it's not gonna stay there forever. Because normally, it's a diamond chest that is here. It's not a black chest. Oh my god. Don't die. Oh my god. 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 Okay, I killed them. Like I was saying, the blue chest gives the most money. So there's one here that gives 2,000, which is when you first begin the game. And there's a chest up here. Please always take the chests. And now, set your home point. With your home point, even if you go to another island and you want to come back here without using a boat, you just click on this home button and you're automatically going to be taken back to the pirate village. Okay, now let's look at the quest. The quest, you take it here. There's pirates, but I don't need to do it because I farm more levels than I have to. At level 45, I grinded all that back at the jungle. I can do the brutes. So let's do that. So those are the normal pirates that you should be beating normally at level 30 but i skipped that if i can i always skip levels and you're gonna grind those oh also i forgot to tell you that i have unlocked a new skill that's a z skill and i also unlocked the x skill it's pretty cool but it also flings your npcs back but it does lots of damage so let's now put my new stats i want to tank my fruit again so i'll say 20 here your melee is going to be your stamina and your combat damage i do need some defense but just not as much and again the rest i'm just going to tank it and my fruit because i want my fruit to be strong it's going to be so much easier to grind when your damage is very high and level up okay when i get level 55 we'll go do the boss and finish them up level up 55? Okay, 55. I can now do the boss. When it says new quest available, it's because you can do a new quest. Okay, so here is Bobby. If you're a sword user, you will not be able to damage this boss. So I'm telling you, he has the chop chop fruit. So I don't recommend you to kill him with your sword because it's just not gonna happen. I can use my spear because that's considered a fruit. And I can use my combat or a gun, but I don't have a gun right now. So we'll use my fruit to end him really quickly. Oh, 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 oh. He also does lots of damage, so you wanna be careful. Especially if he does his fruit skill. You are so done. This one actually is much more challenging than the monkey bus the gorilla king actually like i'm actually struggling right now i might die yep it can happen like i said you want to be quick to come back because bosses and npcs can heal surprisingly he hasn't used his chop fruit a single time yet but you know what let's end him why should i wait for him to use it i ended him we also got lost of bound he used it after he died? That's kind of weird. The next island is the desert. Desert or desert? Desert. I think so. Okay, also guys, slow down because now to go to the desert island, it's way too far away. Blocks route is not paid to win. But honestly, I would recommend if you do want to spend Robux, I recommend you getting the fast boat. That's one thing I will recommend you getting. And also, I'm going to get double mastery. You don't have to get double mastery. It's not a necessity. It's just because I'm trying to go as fast as I can. So don't go ahead and say, oh, oh my God, Blocks route is paid to win. You cannot win without buying anything no it's not true it's not true if you're patient you can do it just not me i'm not as patient when it comes to grinding games i'm also getting double mastery i know i said i will not be spending money but you guys if you're gonna be investing your money i recommend you buying those small game passes two times money can be useful but again i recommend you getting the fast boat and the two times mastery if you're gonna be spending robux as a beginner so where is the desert look at the flag you know the pole you see how the pole is gray yeah now you go just behind the pole this is so much faster it's honestly awesome you guys i really recommend you getting a fast boat because the boats in the first year is so slow and the islands are so far from each other it's so annoying with that being said set your home point and let's begin okay home point home point home point set home point home point jeez home point desert bandit now let's grind them because the next quest is at level 75 they can't damage me how so they can't damage me that's pretty cool they're gonna be so much easy to farm also let's not forget to always use that so again i want to buff my fruit but i also want to start buffing my melee and my defense so that's one here that's one here and the rest you can put it in fruit please keep it balanced don't just put everything in fruit because you want it to be balanced okay my two times xp expired before if you didn't know because i didn't record it i just used another code keep using codes until you you know you don't need it anymore i use codes because it's so much faster boom 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 just like that got the level 62 63 64 now you keep doing that until you can get the next quest yes sir also guys don't forget to leave a like on the video if you're finding this tutorial helpful as far okay so i just unlocked a new skill it's called ice beard it's really nice because it can freeze them hold it and 
they're frozen. It's going to be awesome when fighting bosses because later on, you're gonna learn how to make combos. It's cool to spam, but you know, we want to grow as OP players, as good players, and we don't want to be just spammers, right? Also, I literally forgot to say this at the very beginning. Do not farm NPC one by one. Gather them all together and then kill them all at once. Like, you are literally a criminal if you kill the NPCs one by one. It's a crime to do this, okay? Don't do this all at once. Okay, now we unlock the next quest, so we're almost at 100 levels, so that's pretty cool. I think it's going very fast. So the next quest is the Desert Officers, and they're located right over there behind this huge pyramid. Keep doing those NPCs until you don't get XP anymore. Also, my 2 times XP expires in a few seconds, so I'm gonna get another code again. Let's use the code NUSPRO. Yes, sir, NUSPRO, guys. If you can get your hands on a Logia, please do. Like, any Logia is gonna be good. If you want to, you don't even have to be our free user, honestly. But at least you're gonna be immune to the NPCs. Also, just to be clear, the next island is the Frozen Village at level 90. I have 60 available points, so let's use them. Again, I am gonna be tanking my fruit. I think I got enough melee, enough defense, because I'm not losing stamina anymore when using my skills. You just wanna have enough stamina to the point where you can use your skill and dash without going out of stamina. I'll buff my fruit a bit more. If you know that you take lots of damage and you take lots of hits easily, then please tank your defense better than I am doing right now. Okay, guys, another tip I have for you is even if I need one more level, right? Even if I get it, I'm gonna stay at this island until my XP goes away, because you don't wanna wait your two times xp code by traveling tanking your fruit is the best decision it's literally so easy so now i can go to the next island which is the snow island but we will not go yet i will get more levels for now okay guys as you can see i finished all the quests and i have only 15 seconds left for my two times xp once your xp is almost out xp has ended this is when you know it's time to change your island and the snow island requires to have 90 levels we're in advance so let's go to the snow island grab your fast boat if you have one if you don't you're gonna suffer but you're still gonna get there at some point you're gonna see there's a colo here the snow island is beside the Colosseum. This is where you begin the game. And this island is the Snow Island. Okay, we're here at the Frozen... Actually, it's not Snow Island. It's called Frozen Village. This island is where everything will change for you. Because there's this secret place which we're gonna be seeing in the next video. But in the next video, there's lots of secrets inside this cave that you probably already know, but we're going to be discovering together in case you're new to Blocks Fruits. Okay, so you're gonna take the village request, the Snow Band that you see. I could have skipped it if I did one more level. I could have done the Snowman. So I only need to do one more Snow Bandit and I can do the Snowmans immediately. During this whole video, I was skipping through the quests. Let's just finish those NPCs. Bam, 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 bam. Poof. Boom, boom. Come on, come on. Two more, two more. And there we go. I literally can get the next quest for those NPCs here. But anyways, guys, we are level 100. This video was from 0 to 100. I have so much more tips and tricks. So if you guys enjoyed my guide and you're still watching until here, let me know in the comments down below if you watched to the end. Please be sure to leave a like if you do want me to do now from 100 to 200. If you have any questions or you need some help in the comments, let me know down below. I'll answer absolutely everyone. With that being said, thank you for watching, guys.